Hi, Albert Grande here, pizzatherapy.com. I want to take a minute to, or two, to review this great book by my buddy Tony Gimignani. It's called The Pizza Bible. And when I talked to Tony a few times about this book, he said, Albert, I put everything I know about pizza into this book. And it's all here. And I'll get to that in a minute. But I want to tell you a quick Tony Gemignani story. I live in Hawaii, and I don't know, maybe 10 years, 12 years ago, Tony contacted me, said, Albert, I'm coming to Hawaii. I was real excited. I said, great, Tony, I can't wait. I'm thinking, I want to show Tony a real Hawaiian space. Maybe take him to some Hawaiian food, or Filipino food, a Korean restaurant, maybe a sushi place. Something different that he can't get where he lives in California. So Tony and his wife got off the plane, and the first thing he said to me was, where are we gonna go to lunch? And I said, oh, Tony, I got some great places lined up. He said, I said, what do you wanna have, Tony? He said, I wanna have pizza. <laughs> I was amazed. The guy eats pizza all the time, and yet, here in Hawaii, he wanted to go sample some pizza. So we went to a place, it's not there anymore, Antonio's, they were very gracious, they took care of Tony, they took care of all of us, which was great. A few years ago, Tony came back, and um, again, Albert, I want to go eat pizza. So we went to another great place, Pacifico Pizza, and we had an amazing pizza lunch, which was hosted by my good friend, Alistair Hanneman. Uh, his place, Pacifico, has unfortunately closed, but we had some great pizza. But anyway, I want to tell you about the Pizza Bible. And the Pizza Bible by Tony has an amazing, it's like taking a master class with the guy. And he starts by giving you uh, a master class, your master shopping list, what you need, the ingredients. Talks about practice, he'll get you right into it. And then he goes through regional American pies. He talks about uh, master dough with starter, uh, tiga and poolish starters, a master dough without starter. And he gets into the meat of it. He talks about New York, New York, New Jersey tomato sauce. He talks about uh, a New Haven with clam pizza, which those of you that know New Haven, Ah Beats, uh, Pepe's is very famous for their clam. Talks about the very classic uh, tomato, uh, New Jersey tomato pie. He also gives you a recipe for Detroit, which is really big right now. And St. Louis pizza, which is a little bit different. They use, I think, Provel, which is a different kind of cheese. I think it's a mixture of provolone and mozzarella. Uh, but that is in here. And he takes you over to Chicago. Talks about deep dish, Chicago stuffed dough, um, deep dish with spinach and ricotta, uh, fully stuffed, cook it in a cast iron skillet, a Frank Nitti, Italian stallion, Italian beef sandwiches in here, uh, Chicago inspired cocktails. He talks about Sicilian, Sicilian dough with starter, the Brooklyn, pepperoni and sausage, um, the grandma, of course. Then he takes us to the West Coast, and you go to California styles. The Cal Italia, the Honey Pie, the Eddie Munster, on and on and on. It's all in here. And of course, he'd be remiss if he didn't take you all the way to Italy and give you a taste of Neapolitan pizza. So he talks about Neapolitan dough. And one of the things you may or may not know about Tony. Tony, uh, of course, a master pizza maker, but for a long time, he was a pizza acrobat. He made pizza, but he wanted to hone his acrobatic skills. He is a nine-time world champion. Took it to that level and said, geez, I can toss pizza. I want to learn how to make pizza. He took his Neapolitan pizza dough to Italy, and he won the competition. This guy is not a slouch when it comes to pizza. And as John Arena calls him, the goat, the greatest of all time, and he is. He talks about wood-fired baking, a margarita, marinara. Then he goes into regional Italian which are Lucata, Rimini, Calabrese, Sardinia, 
and even Roman dough. Talks about grilling, how you can do that. Wrapped and rolled like a calzone with meatballs and spinach, the bow tie. Focaccia bread is how he ends up. He also includes baker's percentage. And those of you that make pizza or do a lot of it, you know, you can certainly measure ingredients using cups and tablespoons uh, and, ta you know, teaspoons. But to really get accurate with pizza, you need a scale. And so you really want to kick it up to that level. This is just a fantastic book. The pizza Bible. None like it. It's just an amazing, amazing book. It's been out for a couple of years. It's a bestseller. He sold lots and lots of copies. Uh, and, and if you get this, you want to learn how to make pizza, you want to learn how to make multi-different kinds of pizza, this is the book for you. I cannot recommend Tony's book enough. And I'm going to repeat, when I talked to him about this book, and I've talked to him about it a couple of times, he said, Albert, I put everything I know about pizza into this book. And the guy knows a lot. So, get the Pizza Bible. You will not be disappointed. You're going to love it. And so I have to say to you, Tony, thank you so much for writing the Pizza Bible. And to everyone else, pizza on earth, goodwill to all. <clears throat> Hold on just a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not done yet. Wait a, wait a minute. I'm going to put all resources below this video so where you can buy the Pizza Bible. And also, you know, Tony's got a couple of great... Uh, pizza shops across the country. Uh, of course, Pizza Rock, uh, he's got a great one in Las Vegas as well, a couple of other locations, uh, and he's also got uh, his main place in, uh, in San Francisco's uh, Pizza's Napolitana, Tony's Pizza Napolitana. I love Tony's Pizza, and you will too when you get this book. Okay, that's it. Thank you.